Sea Fox. Um, Valentine's Day week. Um, so this will be posted after my first video is posted. Um, this is actually recorded after I recorded a bunch of videos in the future. So I actually know what the next like two to three videos are going to be like right now. Um, so uh, this one will actually be better quality than the rest of them. Um, so for this uh, video, and I wanted to do something Valentine's Day related because it's a bonus video. Um, so I kind of wanted to do just a sketch and a little bit of coloring because it was gonna, it was supposed to be simple, but in the end it ended up becoming even better than like my other illustrations that I normally do. It was surprising that I was able to do this kind of thing. Um, so I'm also using iArtbook. So I will be trying out iArtbook for the first time next um, next video. But for this time, I'm using iArtbook again. I will give Matt what I think about it in my next video. Um, next two videos, actually. Um, I'll give what I think about it then. But right now I'm using it because I kind of want to go back and forth between like different kinds of, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, apps that I have, art apps, because I, <laughs> I have way too many. Um, so what I did, and I didn't do this right, I actually did my refined sketch on the same layer as my other sketch is and it kind of ruined my ability to actually color it in correctly like when i do the multiply layer like you'll still see like different kinds of that light pink um so at this point i thought i was just thinking to myself that i was just going to do like a simple coloring um but i actually did the background and i did the background almost like for fun because i was playing around with the brushes on my art book and the brushes were actually pretty good for the stuff that I was going for because it was it, it doesn't look realistic so you kind of have to if you're going to use them you're going to have to blur them out a little bit but that's what I was going to do anyway and it looked really good for something that I was going to blur out um this is me working on the bench because I really need that bench to be perfect um because that's like the focal point right after the face I wasn't sure if I was going to do a black and white drawing for this drawing, um, but that, because I didn't want this to take too long, because it's just a bonus video, so then I just decided to just go straight to the color, because I want to start trying out using um, just black and white, starting off with black and white and then adding color, but I'm not really that much, I'm not really very comfortable with that kind of um, work, work like ethic kind of thing yet. So I'm going to keep that off until later. For now, I'm just going to continue going on the way that I'm used to. Uh, recently, I had watched this uh, style studies from a YouTuber called Srish Creates. And I thought it was very interesting how there's something in front of the character to almost l l l rest your eyes on. And I liked that. And I wanted to keep it. So um, I'm going to have like a branch on top of the character. And I continuously cr keep changing the the f color filters on the thing because I wanted the entire thing to be, you know, pretty and soft and s something nice. And I am really, really proud of the outcome. I kind of messed up on the hand a little bit because you know how hands are like lighter at the bottom? I made it way too light, so it just looks like she has a pink hand. Yeah. Also, I had looked up a tutorial for how to draw pleated skirts, so this, <laughs> I'm not very good at pleated skirts, so sorry if it doesn't look that good. Um, thank you for watching. Bye!